Hello everyone, and welcome back to Monsters of the Past. As always, I'm your host, Mr. G, and today we're talking about our first hadrosaur. It's the near-crested lizard itself, Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus means near-crested lizard, and it was a member of the hadrosaur family. It was an herbivore, and it lived during the late Cretaceous throughout North America. Parasaurolophus was around 35 feet long and 16 feet tall. Parasaurolophus was a hadrosaur, which were also called duck-billed dinosaurs, due to their beaks looking like those of a duck. The most striking thing about Parasaurolophus is the elongated crest it had on its head, the purpose of which has been a debate within paleontological circles ever since it was first discovered, with many theories having been proposed. One theory stated that it was a snorkel due to the fact that at the time it was believed that all hadrosaurs were amphibious. This theory got debunked when it was found out that hadrosaurs weren't built for an aquatic lifestyle. Another aquatic theory claims that it was a way to keep air separate from their lungs. And there was even a theory that stated that the crest contained flame sacs, allowing the creature to breathe fire. Yes, really. Currently, the most popular theories are that 1. The crest was a way of species identification, 2. The crest was used as a way of thermoregulation, and 3. That the crest was a noise amplifier that would have allowed the creature to be heard over a large distance. Although the creature is dead, we can never be 100% sure. Also, nowadays, we know that Parasaurolophus, and as well as other hadrosaurs, had hooves instead of hands, like previously believed. Also, contrary to popular belief, Parasaurolophus did not live with T-Rex, and it was more than capable of defending itself from predators, unlike how it's portrayed in media. That shows it is helpless. Now that we got all that out of the way, let's look at the card. Well, the first problem is that it doesn't have any hooves, which, it, which we now know that they had. Secondly, the back of the card makes reference to how it might have been hunted by T-Rex, which we know it did not live with at all. But, other than that, I can't really find anything about this card that's not right. So, I give this card 7 out of 10. Now let's look at Parasaurolophus appearances in pop culture. Parasaurolophus is weird, though, because it appears a lot, but it's almost never identified by name. I'm not sure why. Oh well, let's look at the appearances. Parasaurolophus make a cameo in Jurassic Park, and since then they've appeared in every film. Some Parasaurolophus are seen in Fantasia. And Parasaurolophus appears background dinosaurs in the Disney movie Dinosaur. And some of them make a cameo in the beginning of the Pixar film The Good Dinosaur. Parasolophus have appeared throughout the Land Before Time franchise. And finally, Parasolophus appears as a tameable animal in the video game Ark Survival Evolved. That's all for this episode of Monsters of the Past. Join me next time when I talk about the armadillo that was like a tank. Bye!